So guys, welcome back to the channel. So back in August, I gave three tips on what a, what an individual who's looking to get into doing street photography, particularly of people, would want to try to, so they can get comfortable doing street photography, going out, taking images of folks, whether it's candid or asking for an image. And what I wanted to do was follow up on where we left out from that video. You know, in that video, I said, once you've gone out and done a couple of months of doing those three tips to get yourself comfortable, we're gonna revisit to see what you should look to do next, you know? So just as a real quick recap, the first step was to use a standard zoom so that way you don't have to worry about being close to people or if you're not ready to be up that close to people taking pictures of them or even ready to take ask them for an image i should say the next thing was putting the camera in full auto you know with the fuji that means putting everything on a for the exposure triangle and i use auto iso uh range so already to give the camera that functionality and i generally will control the aperture and the shutter and that was because I wanted you to be able to get comfortable and get um, more skilled, if you will, at taking the image, capturing the moment, the decipher moment, not fiddling with a camera that you might be new to or fiddling with settings, more than enough settings than you could probably handle and miss the image that you're trying to capture. And the third thing, of course, was getting to know the area that you're shooting in so you understand what's going on in it as far as your opportunity to take images of people and then what's also going on as far as your own personal safety, safety, excuse me, and safety with the gear that you have and, and everything. So now that you hopefully, for those that have done it, have gone out and done this for a couple of months and gotten more comfortable, what's the next step? Well, the next step actually is to get closer. So the next step would be first getting closer and being able to get, because you're more comfortable now, you can get more closer to your subject, which is people taking pictures, maybe even to the point where you're already asking or you're asking people for a portrait on the street, okay? So that literally is the goal of it in some cases for, for those. So we wouldn't be using a using a prime. So for me, I like the 40 mil equivalent. Um, it, gets, it gets you in tight if you're not, can't get close enough. And then at the same time, it's not so, so uh, tight that you can be a little wide as well and get you the image that you're shooting for. And that's how it looks on the X-Pro3. So we're gonna go out and take some pictures with this today. Um, and I'll put those pictures in so you see what I mean about being able to get in close and taking portraits of people on the street. The next thing I would do is, now that you're comfortable getting closer, is start to take control of the camera. Not all the settings, not all the settings. There are certain settings that I feel is easier for the camera to maneuver and manipulate faster than me. And I want the camera to do that. And for me, as you heard me say just, just before we got into this part of the topic, is the ISO. I set an ISO, auto ISO range with this camera. I have it based on um, basically golden hour and blue hour. So when it's golden hour and blue hour, I have it up to 6,400 as the highest the ISO will go. And I have it as low as I believe one, oh, it's base ISO for this, which I think is 160 or 200. Um, but if it's brighter in the day, I'll have it cap at, out at the highest at 800. And if it's midday and I got midday sun or, um, or, or early, early evening where I still got some sun and some clouds, I'll have it cap out at its highest at 32. So I'll let it take control of that or keep control of that. And then I will start to play around with the aperture and the shutter speed. And the reason being is, is sometimes I want to get more than just a subject in focus. So that would be aperture. That would be controlling your depth of field range, going from wide open at in this particular lens, f2.8, to going all the way down to closing it to f16, which will give me a lot of things in the scene in focus and in sharp, hopefully. Usually when I want to capture Again, how much I want of the scene in sharp detail, I'll mess with the aperture and I'll let the shutter be at a specific speed so that I can stop motion if I want or see motion. So that's what I do with the shutter. 
but again i will generally work with and that's your difference excuse me between aperture priority and shutter priority if i want to play more and i know i jump a little and i apologize but if i want to play more with speed in the scene i will shoot um shutter priority if i want the subjects to show motion blur or i want to freeze them or freeze time as you heard me say will depend on how fast i'm shooting in shutter and how slow i will still let the camera pick the auto uh, the ISO range and then I will also let it pick the aperture so those would be what I would look at doing as far as taking control of the camera the other option you can do is shoot full manual where you pick the ISO pick the shutter and pick the aperture and just walk around and shoot as if you're kind of doing a point and shoot with a camera it could be fun doing that you've heard people do that or they will do that shooting um a zone if you will on the lens and that's what some lenses have scales on for like say range finders and old film lenses where you can pretty much pick a, a, a zone of f distance in front of you depending on the f-stop that you'll know be in focus and then you pick your shutter and you pick your ISO um, and uh, and go that route but for me I think the next step in that range you're going from auto ISO to taking control of let's start off with one of the exposure triangle elements and whether that you want to have the picture completely sharp or just have only the subject sharp and everything blurred behind you that's aperture priority where the camera will pick the shutter speed and you can eh, get some good stuff there but keep in mind the camera's controlling shutter speed and you pick your iso range whether you want to get motion blur or not freeze time and so forth and you shoot shutter priority the next thing would be you've already discovered or did your background checks and did your discovery on the area and you've been out a few times from the last video doing the other three tips and you've gotten pretty comfortable with the area let's go find some new areas um let's do some more scouting let's build our repertoire inventory of locations we can go to to give ourselves more opportunity to be able to get us some good images of people on the street again whether they're candid or whether you're asking for the portrait itself so that would be the next progression from those three tips would be these three tips and then from there once you've done a couple of more months taking advantage of these new three tips and the progression from them from last august video we'll have another video on what you should finally look to progress to and try out and then see if you want to continue to do as you advance in your street photography skills taking pictures of people on the street so hopefully you guys benefited from this and hopefully you benefited from the last video let me know in the comments what you liked what you didn't like what you feel is better for you do you like aperture priority do you like shutter priority did you like the aperture priority but didn't like sometimes the shutter speed the camera picked or vice versa did you like the shutter speed you have but sometimes you wanted more of the image in focus or less of the image in focus and didn't like the aperture that the camera picked let me know in the comments and we'll discuss it next month and see how we can continue to grow in our street photography and have some fun have a good one guys enjoy that wonderful cold weather if you are experiencing winter like i am in the state of michigan later